What if you wanted to look at statistical anomalies in multiple dimensions? For that, we will have to answer the question, what are Mahalanobis distances? Remember from the last video, when it comes to basic anomaly detection, statistical methods can be used to look for anomalous observations. In the last video, we started by looking at one variable at a time to help identify anomalies of that single variable. Wait, you haven't seen the previous video? Well, luckily for you, there's a link in the upper right-hand corner to alleviate that problem right now. Go ahead. I'll wait. Okay, however, if we only focus on one dimension at a time, we might be restricting ourselves. Let's examine how. Take a look at the graph you see here. It's pretty easy to see the outliers, right? Those three observations in the lower right-hand corner stick out. But let's approach this problem one dimension or variable at a time. What if you only were looking from the x-axis point of view? Those three points don't stand out as much when only looking from that one variable. They aren't even on the extreme of the range. What if you were only looking from the y-axis point of view? Again, those three points don't stand out as much when only looking from that one variable either. So one variable or dimension at a time, those three observations don't really appear to be outliers. However, when we take the two variables or dimensions together, then our opinion on those three observations in the lower right-hand corner changes. We need a multidimensional representation of our data. That is where Mahalanobis distances come into play. Practice it a few times before you say it, Mahalanobis. Mahalanobis distances are just a multidimensional representation of that same z-score idea we had from the last video. The only differences are that we replace the mean with a multivariate mean and replace the standard deviation with the covariance matrix. So you can see on the right-hand side equation, we now have a multidimensional point x, and we still subtract the mean. Just now, that average is the average in all dimensions. And take the inverse, or divide by, the covariance matrix, which is nothing but a multidimensional representation of the standard deviation of all the variables. Now, we still want that same old three standard deviations from the mean rule that we had for z-scores. But now that three standard deviations idea forms a confidence ellipse in multiple dimensions instead of just a confidence range for a single variable. We can see that from this point of view, only one of those three observations appears to be an outlier. But wait, why only one? Well, just like with the original z-score, Mahalanobis distances suffer from the same problem. The calculation of the multivariate mean and covariance matrix are bothered by the very outliers we are trying to discover. Of course, there's a robust version of the Mahalanobis distance. Instead of the traditional multivariate mean and covariance matrix, we now have a robust version of each of those. But what does MCD mean? Well, the MCD stands for Minimum Covariance Determinant. The determinant of the covariance matrix is sometimes referred to as the generalized variance. We want to find a subset of observations, called H, that has the smallest variance. H is typically thought of as around three quarters of your data. So essentially, we want the tightest three quarters of our data cloud. Basically, we want this. We want the data that is the tightest part of the cloud. Those highlighted observations are what we want to calculate our ellipse with. Now, don't let me off the hook here. You should be asking this question. How do we find that right subset of observations? Could it be these observations or these observations? No, it's these observations, which is what we need to find. Luckily for us, there are a lot of bored people out there who have come up with some fast algorithms to be able to find that minimum covariance determinant subset without too much computational time. Let's see what we get with this new robust version of the Mahalanobis distance. Ah, this confidence ellipse looks a little different. Why? It is calculated based on those tightest observations in the cloud. Now we can easily see we have three outliers in the lower right-hand corner and even maybe another outlier in the lower left-hand corner. Perfect. So what are Mahalanobis distances? Those are Mahalanobis distances, and their robust version, which is probably better for anomaly detection, in under five minutes.